This is a, a test on singularity of placing customs office. Now I've got, I blew up one Poco. Sorry, Scrawny. Had to do it. Uh, in Nazil. And I'm going to try to place it just over a thousand kilometers from an upwell. Way far away from planet one. So planet one is where I blew it up. Oh, at least a, an AU away. And I'm going to see if I can place it here. Uh, okay. So it has to be somewhere in the system that planet one, or the, the slot you're trying to do, is nearest. I'm going by that guess because the rumor about this gantry bug that allowed Wherefore to war deck um, war ineligible alliances A is not true now it might not have been true back then it could have been a huge troll but we're going by it it might have been true um, that the mechanic now I don't know how it was then, but the mechanic now, you can't do it unless you have uh, config, config equipment role. But as long as you have that role, you can. Now, I, we know we can place it on grid with a customs office. I'm going to confirm that. But I was trying to place it, the rumor was you could place it anywhere in system as long as you had an open slot. And it might have been the case back then, it might have been a troll, but we're going to ignore it because we can't test it. What I'm testing now is, where in the system can I place it? Can I place it? Say, let's bring up F9. System map. Okay, so... Planet? Okay, we've only seen the planets. So, the zeal one is there. Okay, so, theoretically, if we head towards this and place the bookmark just as we pass, theoretically, oh, geez, too quick. Is it a shared location? It is. Right. Or is it? No, I think it's a personal location. Okay, personal location. There we go. Okay, I think. No. Crap. Alright, so I go back to. Luckily, it's in fleet. I'll work to you. Another one, I'll make it. Oh, okay, it's personal weird. Oh god, I made it over here. That's hilarious. Okay, so... There? Nope. Okay, good. Is that... I think that's closest to... We'll, we'll find out. Now, what do we need to do is make another bookmark. Don't need that. This is going to confuse me. Yeah, I don't need that because it's singularity. All right, so let's try. I wonder if there's anything. Like, where is that track? Okay, so is there other? I don't think there's any anomalies in system, unfortunately. Okay, so we will go here. Let's bookmark another one. Poco test one. And voila. Oops, too late. Okay. Uh, is he one? Is he two? Sorry, one sec. Five. Where's the seal five? Okay. Two, 
five. Perfect. So, theoretically, we should be able to place it right freaking here, which would be hilarious. So, theoretically, you could have a Fortizar right here. You wouldn't be able to place all the Pocos of the system in, that's what I was hoping for, in, around this Fortizar or Astros or whatever. But you would be able to get one. Theoretically. I don't think it's possible. I think CCP has foreseen this eventuality. But who knows. Good then. <laughs> I th now... Okay. <laughs> right. So, we are going to... <clears throat> Number one, I'm going to plug this all out. Jettison. Warp. I think... No, I can't warp you. I need... You to log off. Right, right. I need you to log off. And this person. Okay, so the person I want to test is currently in this alliance. Yeah, this corp. And what I want to do, it has zero roles. And of course, I want to see what kind of roles I can give you that can deploy. We know it's config equipment, but are there any other roles? We know director can, but are there any other? Right? Oh, besides the CEO, of course, but, you know. That's... So we are going to try all of these. And we're going to try, especially this one, we're going to try all of these one by one to see if we can get the gantry launched. Because it could be, who knows, it, you know, the wording of CCP can sometimes be, well, uh, a black lie, shall we say. Alright, so, I'm going to invite you to fleet. work over there. Blah, blah. I don't know why we get that error. I just, I think it's a timing issue. Sort of like how the no object selected for next waypoint in your route is not selected. I think it's related to that. Just a, just a timing issue. Uh, you know, lag and stuff like that. Okay, I've got a gantry aboard. I'm gonna try to anchor the gantry that was, you know, launched, but I, I don't think so. You could always try. I mean, it's a trivial thing to try and test. I think I need some things to plug in it, though, but okay, I can't do anything like that, so I'll just scoop it. And I no longer need you. Correct. Okay. It's just you and me, buddy. Alright, so we're in the same position we were, and we're going to launch for Corporation. And it'll give me an error because I don't have the role. There we go. Here we go. It's a factory manager. Apply. Launch for Corp. There you go. Now, just in case I need to make sure the system needs to update can I do it immediately um, so we'll just we'll just test this currently you see this kind of flickers so I'm assuming that I can launch a corporation yes okay good so it, it's instantaneous good 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 so I can test all these so scoop now then let us start 
and it's good I don't have to wait. <laughs> Guess I do. Alright. <laughs> Jinx myself there. There we go. Okay, go. Alright, account. Auditor obviously is not going to. Uh, I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm just going to... Uh, I'll do it the quick way. I'll... Well, no. We'll just do it the quick way. We'll click everything but config equipment. And then we'll just... Oops. <laughs> just talking too much. Everything. Okay. So, we'll just narrow it down. If we can't... If we can, we'll just narrow it down. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, Safe and service. Click all of it. And this will confirm whether... Do it. Okay, so it has to be specifically good. Okay, rule... Okay, so definitely there's no other loopholes. It is exactly as they intended. Thank God for that. Okay. Apply. There we go. And confirm. Cool. And yeah, I don't need an accounting. There are zero accounting rules, so he doesn't need a divisional wallet, I don't think. Because I don't think there's a fee for this. Uh, unlaunch. There we go. Now, I think you need to plug in ingredients to finish it, but... Anchor. Can we anchor it? Oh, interesting. Okay, so... Whether it was a rumor or not... Um, this could be... Uh, whether it was a rumor, a troll, or actual fact a year ago, when Wherefore rumored allegedly was using this bug to ward deck ineligible. Now you need the role, specifically the uh, config equipment, and you need to be, I'm guessing, because this is a very particular number, isn't it? So I think that this is if I go in the direction, I'm just, just wildly guessing based on just, just assuming that when I warp towards planet one from this direction, the grid and I'm the planet one's the closest. Otherwise you'd give me that error, right? The grid is sixty four hundred kilometers uh in distance from the start of the grid to the Poco location, um, which would be the default zero. Now, if, say, I was um, on the other side, it could be closer or farther, depending on the grid distance from the Poco to the edge of the grid, depending on where I am from planet one. But, of course, I need to be closer to planet one than any other planet mm -hmm. in order to get the ability to launch it because all the other planets have Pocos on it. <sighs> I know. So, theoretically, that is my assumption right now. And, I do believe... that I still have... hopefully... I might... I might have forgotten and I, yeah, I, I don't think I have the, the waypoint, um, yeah, we all have to yeah, we'll bookmark it, blah, because I want to be a thousand kilometers from, and I'd set it up perfect too, I just forgot to take a bookmark, that's hilarious, and there, on grid, boom. So hopefully I lucked out and that is going to be hmm. 
Now I need to be a thousand from everything. But closer than, you know. I need to be on grid, I'm assuming. With planet one. Uh, planet one zero warp. And that can actually be what I want right there. But we'll see. So we are 7,000. Let's test. Does it say the same exact number? That'd be one way to find out. Okay, we're launched. We anchor, and it doesn't give this... <gasps> Fascinating. I wonder why they use that specific number. So we've eliminated the random factor of the grid edge. This is just a random number. This is just bizarre. So we're going to scoop it. And we're going to warp to ping. And hopefully this is a thousand from everything. And there's no real, at this point, it has to be on grid and within such and such. Uh, it's, that number might be the minimal distance a grid is from the edge of a grid. I mean, from, from a poco, you know, the edge of the grid to the poco. It, or the sort of the zero uh, planet warp, maybe? I have no idea. Anyway, so I am... Yeah, I'm just happy here. I'll just do it here. Um, so, launch. We need the roll. Establish that. Anchor. Now, it's weird because when you anchor it, it doesn't let you choose, but it's exact. it plants it's exactly... Oh, that's interesting. It doesn't give you the option to... Uh, like, you know, drag it like a pause location where you're going to anchor it, or an up, up well, it's exactly where you placed it, which is interesting. You can pinpoint it. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. That's really neat. Can you anchor more than one? Probably not. Once you've anchored it, yeah. Okay, there you go. Um, let's go this way a bit. Can I? I'll just warp to planet one. Basically, if you warp to planet one, normally people just place it, plunk it right there, and you're usually in danger of getting trapped somehow by the Poco. Now, if you wanted to be strategic about it and trap people when they do warp in, the smartest thing to do would be A, to figure out exactly where, because you're always going to be displaced 2.5 right so you're gonna have to set bookmarks and keep making bookmarks and keep warping this location usually probably an interceptor and just do it on grid warp back and forth and get a big cloud until you find the exact center of the zero meters from the zeal you know the warp in to zero and you can get it so fine-tuned that you can say okay most people when they want to warp to planet one are probably going to come from say the stargate right the high sec so if you want to trap them from warping from escaping say back out to high sec you know the most people don't go to you know high but most people will panic if you jump on them and try to get out and if you place it right here and you probably have to keep launching it oh interesting yeah you would probably have to keep launching it until it you know pops out like a jet can on this side and then you would anchor it and if they tried to turn around they're most likely going to be trapped you know if they start bumping into the poco and i forget how big the poco is but it's pretty darn big so it might actually if you launch it right here you might actually be able to... Well, one question is, would you be able to place it right on top of the warp in? Exactly. And then the massive size of it will always bump somebody when they come in. 
that could be a way of doing it. I mean, um, since I'm thinking of strategically placing it elsewhere, I might as well take care of the strategically placing it where most people do by default right on top but if you make it fine-tuned you could totally trap people I'm just I just was wanting to place it because I wanted to find out how far away I could place it you know yeah and that's why when you um when you warp to a new Poco at that planet, your bookmarks are always going to be off because it's just when you launch it, it's going to be a, a random place, right? You could keep doing it till you got exactly the way you had it before. It would be difficult, but not impossible to replicate because if you had bookmarks, say I've got a ton of bookmarks in Carry on all the pokos if i destroyed all those pokos if i had if i destroyed one and had a bookmark exactly there you know and then i blew it up i could keep launching it from this distance and keep launching the customs office till it appeared exactly there it would take forever but if you put the work into it you can make it happen I'm just, you know, yeah, I, uh, I just might as well, you know, I mean, if you're thinking of stuff and you're thinking of be, uh, what options do you have for fine tuning it, and I have a lot of really fine tuned bookmarks and carries, so if I was going to do it this way, this would how I would do it. I would totally try to get, okay, where did my jet cans come out? They come up about, you know, yay far, blah, blah, blah. And I figure out how far I need to be from this spot in order to finally get a jet can to appear near as close as possible there. It won't be perfect, but it'll be close enough that my bookmarks will still be valid because this distance, you know, I mean, uh, yeah, mm, math, I suck at explaining. But yeah, I mean, it's my my I need to have it pretty exact like within yay far uh, error to actually have it uh, work for my bookmarks so it have to be really damn close to that spot which would take forever and that's why I don't blow up pauses because I've got too many bookmarks and why would I blow up somebody's pauses to try to fine tune that placement when it's a random placement, you know? So don't blow up pauses, just bank your own if you've got bookmarks already on the one you have, because otherwise it's gonna take you forever to get those bookmarks back in place. And I'm yapping too much. But yeah, I need this is Pocos, it's annoying. So yeah, cool. Um up open upgrade and then of course you need to place this stuff, ingredients in order to finish anchoring um, a poco. And I think, don't, I'm not sure, but I think once you've anchored it and you place this in and you complete it, I think it actually decides on a random spot to manufacture it. I don't, don't quote me, I guess I haven't confirmed it yet, but I suspect when I first launched and anchored uh, and upgraded uh, a Poco a while, or was a long time ago, um, that when I launched it, plugged it in, happy with the location, initiated it, and all of a sudden it appeared elsewhere. So we'll definitely have to see. Um, we'll have to test that, but yeah, later. <laughs>